The eyes was red. This will be the finish of the belt. It's, it's all over in the ninth round. With an uppercut on the inside, there's a great body shot, and it scores the knockdown. Damage done. It is for the unified Super Featherweight Championship of the world. Early on, it's important for Michaela. Baumgartner, some great power shots there that has Michaela holding here. Ooh, big right hand. Michaela now working well off that jab, landing a big right hand that backs up Alicia Baumgartner in the corner at the end of the bell. Michaela Mayer showing different levels to her game here in round six. Alicia Baumgartner a little more of the same. Oh, and a big shot there lands from Baumgartner, and another one with the right hand, and it looks like we do have a small cut over the right eye of Michaela Mayer, right above the eyebrow there. Strong left hand there from Baumgartner. Baumgartner maybe senses that blood, sees that blood, and continues to pour it on. Mayer showing pull, Mayer back even to the jab, bleeding. looking to land that right hand. Next fighter will come back and take the play back and land two punches. It's back and forth. Big right hand from McKayla. In a fight where there was a ton of bad blood, but what had been bad blood has turned into a really good fight as they throw bombs to the back. By split decision and the new unified super featherweight champion of the world, Alicia the Bomb! Good balance from Campbell. Nice There's left a left hand, right hand there. from Luke Campbell, and then he goes to the inside. Oh, he snaps his head back. Lomachenko now gets to the inside and lands another left hand. Look for Lomachenko. Nice uppercut by Campbell. Beautiful, Beautiful shot. shot. Campbell. Good Beautiful. work on the inside, and then Loma comes back. Very close round. Short there left is. hand on the inside. Then he goes to the belt line. Now he closes the gap, goes to the body. Campbell in trouble for a moment. Lomachenko knows it. End of the round coming, and the champ's on the attack. Out at distance. Anytime Loma gets close, ooh, he hurt him with that shot. So he catches him coming in. Luke is believing. Doing the right thing right by going hand to the from body. Lomachenko. Luke is believing right now. But Lomachenko just came back with a body shot, and now he's got Campbell against the ropes. And then touches him two times with the right hand to the body, goes right back to it, tries to split the guard with an uppercut on the inside. There's a great body shot, and it scores the knockdown. Damage done. Good fight. Great fight. Good, good championship fight. Still WBA, WBO, and ring champion, and now the new WBC lightweight champion of the world. Pound for pound, perhaps the best there is. The man known as Loma Vasile Lomachenko. Scheduled for 12 rounds, and it will be for the IBF. Featherweight Championship of the World. He's in a way to earn his respect. That's good there from Warrington. And again, good right hand. Good early pressure from the champion. Back comes Frampton. Oh, he's caught him. Big left hand from Warrington. What a start to this fight. And he's going looking for Frampton right away and lands a big right hand as well. Oh, lovely shot. What an oh, for what he's hurt Frampton. He's holding on again, and Frampton's in trouble. Is he going to go? Warrington thinks he is. He's trying to take him out here in the second. And Frampton's on stiff legs. Another big left hand from Warrington. Frampton has to somehow, by time, has to recover. Frampton oh, nice digging in a couple of decent body shots of his own. Both landing a good left hook there as well. Frampton and his 
team believed that Josh Warrington wouldn't be able to replicate what he produced at Allen Road when he won the title. And Frampton now is really digging in. Good work from the Irishman, but back comes Warrington. The right time there, all Warren Frampton. That's nice from Frampton, but look at Warrington responds instantaneously. With an air of desperation, Carl Frampton. Oh, good left hook there, he's just stumbled him back there, Warrington. But look at Frampton fight back. Oh, good skill uppercut there from Warrington. Great right hand counter, and Frampton's in trouble again. And still, IBF featherweight champion of the world, Josh, the Leeds Warrior, Warrington. For 12 rounds, and it will be for the WBO, WBC, and IBF. Unified Light Heavyweight Championships of the World. Body work from Better BF. That's there from Archer Better BF. All of his fights have ended by knockout, but so is that. Ooh. He gets up there with a nice right hand. And there's another right. And here comes the firefight that we knew was going to happen. Now the fight started. No discipline jab from Yard. That's a problem. No discipline jab. But where you're seeing the jab from, you're seeing it from Better BF. And that bodes well for a guy who's late in his 30s. Oh, there's a right hand that shook Anthony Yard. Here comes a left hook from Archer Better BF. He's starting to find a home for his shots. He's getting steady, and he's starting to find openings in Anthony Yard, who's more steady. And getting clipped. The legs underneath him are now wobbly. And here comes Archer Better BF. For the fight in where nice counter. Nice left hook there. And he hurt him with that. That buzz to Better BF a little bit. Can he capitalize on this moment? And oh. the gets caught with the right hand coming in, and that's the danger. You want to play with fire, you want to exchange with Archer Better be it? Well, you better be ready to take some fire in return. Oh, counter left from Anthony Yard. Both guys exchanging right there. Oh! He's marching forward, he'll land another two good shots. He knows that he can't afford to punch him. <laughs> But here comes Better Bia. Yes. Better Bia with thudding shots. That's called experience. That's what you're seeing right now. A nice experience. Nice uppercut from Archer Better Bia and the bell. You can be tired tomorrow. Ooh. You don't have time to be tired right now. <laughs> Beautiful right hand from Anthony Yard. Sends Archer Better Bia reeling backwards towards the ropes. And now the champion turns Yard around. Lands a couple of uppercuts. A beautiful right hand. Digs to the body. Uppercut. And here we see the firefight we anticipated. Nice right hand, and now Yard is hurt! Archer better beat him! Puts him on the canvas! That's the punch that just missed about 30 seconds ago. He's done. He is done. Look at the referee, or the fight will end. He's giving every opportunity, Steve Gray, for Archer, for Anthony Yard to continue. How will he deal with the onslaught from the beast? Nope, and Tunde Ajayi steps in, and Archer better be him, does it again. 19 victories, 19 knockouts, 8 championship fights. A middleweight contest for the WBO middleweight championship of the world. Should be for 12. Oh, that was a short hit. Well, Eubanks has taken that one, Reg, yeah, so he can take a shot. That was the one. He's not going to be able to strut. He's going to have to try and hop in. He's done it, Reg. He's done then by the look of it. He chopped that right hand down. Now he's right above us. And we're almost falling down with the ring on us here. This is what we've seen Ben so dangerous from this position. Here it comes. Oh, five of them in Atlantic City. So you bank is still backing off, Reg. And you would think after the success, he would come forward trying to take the play away again. Oh, he got there as well. He said he could do the business, well he's mixing it and the one thing. Now that was a lovely upper cut shot. It shoot you back just as it landed, but his head's cleared again. Oh, I think that was more of a stumble wedge. Well no, he, he banged that left hook to the ridge as well. Fifth and six weren't his best rounds, so he's, he's trying to... Oh, two good shots now. He's going to take those wedge. So he knows instantly you back when he's got the man in trouble.
This is what you might must be careful. It's on, OK, come on. Now they're really... Now Ben's answering him back. I thought that would happen. Uh, the referee might just calm them down a bit, so I don't want any talking. I'm the only guy who's paid for the talking, apart from the commentators. Another low blow, and it's going to make a bit of a that. But they're calling Ben on, saying, take no notice, the corner will get into him. The master of the noble art. Oh, right. Almost came out on our lap, Bergen. A little bit of a slip. He's arguing with the referee. It was a slip. But there's no point in him shouting at him. I think he was calling for that. That was Ben. Oh, what a shot. That's a real shipper. Opened him up with the left hand and then shot the right hand over and it connected. There's the countdown. If he did go down, the count would continue. So ben, ben is shaking, Reg. Oh, oh right to his boots, Jim. Ben is shaking. The eyes watch, Reg. This will be the finish of the belt. It's all over in the ninth round. And would you believe in uh, Ben's corner, they looked as though they were objecting to that for a minute.